Happy Sunday, besties. Welcome back to my channel. I feel inspired today. I want to style my Burberry trench coats. I have three trench coats. I am low-key obsessed. And I thought, what better time than spring 2024 to style trench coats? So we are styling my navy blue, my Burberry beige, my maroon trench coat, plus one bonus outfit with my wool black trench coat from Burberry as well. So sit back, relax, grab a beverage. We're starting with this outfit. We are starting, my friends, with an outfit that I wore this week and I am obsessed. I felt so chic. I feel like this is a core staple outfit that anyone can recreate with stuff they already have in their wardrobe. So I found these jeans, right? I am obsessed with pairing taupe with gray at the moment. I'm obsessed with pairing everything with gray at the moment, which will be quite apparent. I think the whole interwebs is kind of obsessed with gray. Gray is the new black. You heard it here first, people. Levi's denim, right? I found these in the sale. Like I walked into the Levi's store. I asked a girly, hey, I'm wearing these. I was wearing my blue denim that my mom wore in the 80s. I'm like, hey, do you have something that has a similar fit to these? She was like, let me show you actually. We have a pair of 100% cotton denim on sale. If you're lucky and they are available in your size, they should be pretty similar to the ones that you're wearing now. And I was like, oh, MG, take me to the sales section right now. And essentially I found both this pair and this pair. They're the exact same style. They are the midi straight. These are in a size 26. The ones I'm wearing are in a size 27 for reference. Essentially the 27 size, they're, they're my sitting jeans and the 26, they're my standing jeans. Does that make sense? Does anyone else do this? I have done this with other like styles of Levi's denim before. Do you see these are in a size 26, 33, 33 is my leg length. And I found them for 375 Swedish crowns, literally. What a steal, honestly, that is like 35 euros or something like that with the conversion of currency. And I could not pass these up, so I bought both of them, like the standing and the sitting size. So I'm currently wearing the 27 size, you will see it in the little cutaways, right? But these jeans are just everything and with buying these jeans, I literally understand why everyone is obsessed with gray jeans at the moment. Like all the Pinterest girlies are wearing gray jeans. I am now doing that too, and I am so happy about it. I also wore a pair of gray ash boots. I've been thinking about decluttering these potentially, but now with these gray jeans, I am so happy I did not declutter them because I think those boots with these jeans are just everything. Do you just see this color combination? The gray denim, my little kind of speckly, kind of taupish, blackish, grayish blazer with this Laura Piana turtleneck. OMG, obsessed. And obviously the piece de resistance is my Burberry trench coat, right? This is the Burberry black wool trench coat. You have seen this on my channel numerous times, but since, I mean, spring in Sweden is not particularly warm, I promise the other looks will be more spring appropriate. But for the first look, I, I just had to show you this look, okay? I, I was literally obsessed with this look this week when I wore it. So this Burberry wool trench coat is just everything. I've had it for years. It's the gift that keeps on giving. That's the thing. Okay, so for handbags, I thought, right, even though we're wearing gray, we're wearing black, we're wearing taupe, Instead of doing the obvious thing and pairing like a black bag or a gray bag, I thought, let's just bring in the espresso colored Hermes Evelyn, especially. I mean, usually I wear it like the right way around, right with a pocket on the front and stuff. But I thought because this has palladium hardware and it kind of plays into this gray kind of cool toned vibe, let me wear it this way. Let me have the kind of silvery Hermes embossing, right? With the little silvery button closure and the silver hardware showing because then it will all tie together so nicely. And I'm literally obsessed with this look. Also, I'm wearing a belt. I'm wearing my Saint Laurent Art Deco belt. And I think this belt is just, it's just bringing this whole ensemble together. When I saw this look, I'm like, damn, this look would match so nicely with my Ramoa Classic Cabin luggage. I know this outfit would be quite annoying to wear to the airport because, I mean, I, I'm wearing a belt, I'm wearing a pair of boots, I'd probably have to take off my boots, I'd have to take off my belt, I'd have to take off my watch, I'd have to take off my Hermes Click H bracelet, but 
you know, like you would be the chicest girl in the airport if you recreate this type of look. So that was the first look. Let's move on to something a little bit more spring appropriate. Okay, because I'm Steve Jobs, I'm obviously wearing a turtleneck. <laughs> I always wear a turtleneck. What did you think? In 2023, right? I first bought a navy blue Burberry trench coat. This one is the Chelsea style in the medium length right since it has like the gunmetal hardware right throughout the trench coat on the d-rings and on the buckle and stuff like this i think this trench coat pairs fabulously with gray i know everyone is talking about maroon and gray but can we just give a moment to navy blue and gray i think navy blue and gray is such a classy classic timeless color combination but to be honest i think only navy blue and gray that can look kind of two-dimensional. I think bringing in a third color that is more of a color, right? I think that is a good vibe, a good mood for us. I think something like a maroon. <laughs> Not to be like the maroon and gray girlies on the interwebs, but I think this color combination, right? Navy blue, maroon, and then gray. OMG, so cute. We are pairing, obviously, draped across our shoulders. We are pairing the golf grandpa sweater. This is just my legit, it's a grandpa sweater for legit golfing. It's a golf brand. And also to bring in more of the red vibes, we are pairing my Gucci loafers. These are also shoes that I've been struggling to style for a long time, but honestly, I mean, the gray jeans are just unlocking so many style opportunities for me and I'm so excited about it. But these Gucci loafers and the patent leather in the red color with the horse bit detail with this look, I think they're, they're, there's just something there. There's something special, okay? And I think also since these are shiny, right? I think we need a shiny bag to match the shiny vibes. Clearly animals print is having a moment right in fashion i mean everyone is talking about the mob wife aesthetic and animal print is everything but animal print is not really for me if we talk about like an animal print on a garment right an animal print in this kind of a vibe right if you talk about a black handbag it's croc embossed right it's not actual croc but it's croc embossed it's from saint laurent and obviously it's giving shine it's giving like octane it's giving edgy if that makes sense <laughs> does it give edgy i think so i think this look is just everything i think it's so fabulous i think it's such an approachable way to pair like a pop of color with your outfit right clearly we're also wearing the maroon Hermes click h bracelet because it just goes fabulously with all the maroon vibes right and this look clearly also needs a pair of sunglasses so since i am still obsessed with my saint laurent m40s these are the sunglasses for life for everything for me you know we also have a look with this navy blue trench coat with a skirt my other trench coats they're both in the shorter style right and i think when a trench coat is longer then it goes with a skirt if it's shorter and the skirt hem is longer like further down your leg than the trench coat then for me personally i don't find it to look very cohesive if that makes sense but in terms of the second look with this navy blue burberry trench coat right like i said we are wearing a skirt i am doing my utmost to wear my skirts more we are wearing my gant little wool skirt this is an a-line wool skirt i think an a-line skirt how many times can I say A-line? But I think an A-line skirt is just so chic. It's timeless, it's classy, it's classic. If you have it in an appropriate length, I think it's totally a vibe for the office. Do not feel like hindered by not having like a perfectly matching set. If you think two items go together, like a skirt and a blazer, just pair them together, even though they're not a set. No one will know. This blazer is a Brooks Brothers blazer. Like I said, it's in wool. It has the gold buttons. I think this blazer is so chic. And because I am always cold, like especially in an office, like is there anyone who's not cold in an office? If there is, please let me know. <laughs> I was wearing also on top of the turtleneck, I was wearing my new Laline cashmere stripey sweater. This one is in an off kind of creamy white, right? It is with a navy blue stripe. It is, like I said, from the brand Laline. I'm wearing it in a size medium. Just all of this like skirt and like little kind of French chic girly vibe. I think this is such a mood for spring and especially paired with something like 
a mid-length trench coat, right? Because I think that just gives such a chic spring vibe. I mean, obviously you could pair this with something like a loafer, but since it is still pretty cold in Sweden, I'm wearing it with my Sturoid Smith 5050 boots, which are I mean, everyone already knows these are my favorite boots of life. When you think of a trench coat outfit, this is as classic as it gets, in my opinion. I'm now back in my comfort zone. I'm wearing my blue jeans that my mom wore in the 80s. These are also from Levi's. I'm wearing my Uniqlo Espresso Brown Turtleneck, which I think goes fabulously with my complexion. I also think it goes very, very nicely with my Burberry Beige trench coat. This was the trench coat that started it all for me. Now, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, hmm, should I buy a Burberry trench coat? I mean, clearly, I have three, right? I am a little bit obsessed, so this might be a biased opinion, but if you're asking me, just buy the trench coat. I think a Burberry trench coat is as kind of classic and timeless and chic as kind of outerwear and jackets go. I think Burberry makes fabulous trench coats. I mean, mine are holding up brilliantly. Granted, I've not had them for long, but these were pre-loved finds, right? So I'm not the first owner of any of these trench coats. With that being said, I think if you're looking for the kind of Burberry quintessential trench coat, this is gonna to be it for you, in my experience, in my opinion, right? This is a very biased review, right? So <laughs> if you're not a fan of Burberry trench coats, maybe this is not the video for you. But amongst us Burberry trench coat fans, I mean, just with the classic Burberry checkered pattern underneath the little collar, right? I mean, you have the brown buckle details, which I think goes fabulously with espresso brown turtleneck. But essentially, this is the Sandringham short style. I think this trench coat, like I said, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm screaming at you now, but I feel like this trench coat is as classic as trench coats get. And I think if you're looking to buy one trench coat, depending on the mood of your wardrobe, right? I think this one is the most classic. The navy blue one that I showed you before is also very classic, but this one is like, like I said, the quintessential Burberry trench coat. Now, I'm pairing this, like I said, with blue jeans. I'm pairing it with the turtleneck. We are also, because I mean, who, who am I? Obviously I'm draping a Ralph Lauren cable knit jumper over my shoulders because that's kind of how I live my life generally. I adore just having this vibe, you know, with a cable knit just draped casually over my shoulders. And also it serves as a sweater in case I get cold. So <laughs> I think this is just a vibe, a mood, a lifestyle in general. Because we adore re-wearing items, we are pairing my Hermes Evelyn. This is the Hermes Evelyn GM in the version two. We are pairing it with the front to the front this time, not with the perforated H to the front. Also, a little bit of a more fun shoe option. I was thinking initially of pairing it with my Saint Laurent white sneakers that I wear literally on a weekly basis. But I thought since we're talking about spring, I want something that goes a little bit better with the kind of blue jean tones in this look. So that's why we're bringing out the Vivaya loafers. Now full disclosure, I was gifted these like a year ago or something. I'm obsessed with these still, especially with the little bow. I think that gives such a little feminine flair to my looks. And I mean, usually I don't really do feminine style that much, right? So I think these are just a nice little addition to my look. Obviously, Vivai are not paying me to say this, right? So this is just something that I've continued wearing since I was gifted these. So that was the outfits. The next outfit with my Burberry Sandringham shorts, trench coats, it's more of an off-duty look, right? We're talking about that kind of relaxed day of just running quick errands in the city center. We're talking about potentially like going to the airport. We're talking about just dressing for comfort, but still looking cute. And I think something like this trench coat goes so well for that kind of a vibe, honestly. I'm a fan of Levi's denim, right? These are my mom's jeans that she wore in the 80s as well. These are like the true kind of retro looking style of denim, right? They're relaxed, they're super comfortable. They're super soft at this point, like they're 100% cotton. They do have some like, you know, they have wear and tear, but they have wear and tear because we have worn them, both my mom and I. I think these are so chic, honestly. And these paired with, the Loro Piana cashmere turtleneck, I think is such a fab combo with 
the Burberry Sandringham trench coat. Just look at this color combination. Honestly, I'm obsessed. I think in an outfit, it looks the best if you have three colors. And I thought, this looks kind of basic. Now we need a color pop to this outfit. I think the Laura Piana turtleneck with this Burberry beige trench coat, these are the same color in my opinion if we look at the three color rule, right? Denim is not really a color either. Because I'm obsessed with my Wrigley Fields sweatshirt, right? I think this one also is one of those fabulous, like you can drape it over your shoulder and if you get cold, you can just put it over the Loro Piana turtleneck, right, in cashmere. I think this is so cute. And also because I do adore a matchy matchy look, I thought, let's bring in the Hermes Evelyn in PM. This Hermes Evelyn, I think is just so chic. And we're also pairing a pair of green Puma sneakers because I mean, who would I be if I was not doing overly matchy matchy? OMG, do we see a theme? Do we think I'm obsessed with this color? I, I kind of think so. <laughs> And now on to the maroon, the like most octane -y, the most like powerful trench coat of them all. And also my recent obsession, right? Because I bought it just a few months ago. So let's end with the maroon Burberry trench coats. Now, my most recent obsession and my most recent Burberry trench coat purchase is my Burberry maroon trench coat. It is a little bit of a different style, right? It has the kind of patent leather piping, right? Which makes it a little bit more, you know, it's giving octane. It is also dressed up with these little gold, like shiny D rings, as well as the kind of gold shiny buckles, right? And the patent leather on the sleeves. I think doing a little matchy matchy vibe with this trench coat with my Uniqlo turtleneck is a good idea, honestly. I am pairing it just like all the cool girlies on the internet with gray denim, right? Because gray, and maroon is clearly the color combination of 2024, let's be honest. Okay, in 2023, everyone was speaking about ballet flats. I think ballet flats are still a vibe, so I'm pairing ballet flats. And we're bringing out this scarf as well. This scarf I got from my parents kindly for Christmas. This is a Burberry cashmere scarf. It's vintage, so I can unfortunately not link it, but it has a little red, like a pinky purple, and it has a navy blue. So I think with this Burberry trench coat and with this little turtle, neck from Uniqlo. I think this is just a fabulous combo. With this outfit, we are pairing the Birkin because I think the Birkin with this trench coat just gives, just gives main character energy. Don't you agree? <laughs> so that was the more dressed down look with my maroon Burberry trench coat. Clearly, this one is the most kind of out there and at least kind of classic, right, of them all. But I think this trench coat is just such a mood. So when I saw it in the secondhand shops in Stockholm, I could not pass it up. But this one, I think, also goes very, very well dressed up for evening occasions, right? Because, I mean, it is kind of a dressy trench coat in itself, right? So this next look it's a little bit more dressed up. So let's, let us let me just show you that one. So this final outfit, right? This is something that I don't do too often, but it is an all black outfit. With my low contrast complexion, I think black can be quite harsh, but I think when paired with something like the maroon Burberry trench coat, right? You give it a little bit of softness, especially towards the face, because I think all black in my complexion, I, ju I just look like I'm dying, okay? We, we don't want that. So essentially we're pairing my Uniqlo once again. I'm obsessed with Uniqlo turtlenecks as well. Uniqlo turtlenecks, Levi's denim and Burberry trench coats. Do we see a theme? And also Hermes handbags. All of my Uniqlo turtlenecks are merino wool actually. So I think these are of great quality. I think these are like, like great value for money. I think if you get like this one, the maroon one, I've had this one for legit years. I think like five years at this point, and I think it's still holding up so well and I'm washing it in the washing machine and stuff, and it's just a vibe. I'm then wearing a pair of slacks. These are a pair of high-waisted, kind of straight leg cigarette cut, I guess, slacks. Similar to my other like bottoms in this video, my mom wore these in the 80s. And I think these are just a classic staple that anyone needs, like a black straight leg or like slightly flared little slack, I think is such a classy, classic staple in anyone's wardrobe, honestly. OMG Amanda from the future here. I think I forgot to tell you a very vital detail of this outfit. I'm clearly, uh, I'm assuming everyone was thinking like, where is the Cartier belt? The Cartier belt would go fabulously with the Burberry trench coat. And obviously I, I am wearing it, right? This 
this vintage Cartier belt with this Burberry trench coat. Are you joking? Like, are you kidding? Have you seen a better color match? I am clearly obsessed with this. So we are wearing the little vintage Cartier belt, right? With the all black look, so ju just adding that detail for you. <laughs> now, obviously we're wearing the Merlin Burberry trench coat, right? And I mean, I could happily wear my Birkin with this look, but I thought we do adore three color in an outfit, right? And currently we only have black, we have maroon, but we don't have a third color. I just remember, I did not show you the shoe option, but the shoe option for this is just my Echo little penny loafers. I think these are just such a vibe, such a mood, such a classy, classic, timeless loafer, literally, which makes it so that we only have two colors in this look. And like I said, I feel like two color outfits feel a little bit two dimensional. So, what do we do? What color do we want to bring in here? Clearly, I mean, you you don't really go too far off this color scheme, right, with this trench coat, because otherwise it can look a little bit cluttered and a little bit kind of out of place. But I thought something that would go fabulously, also because of the gold chain. I mean, the gold chain on this just matches the vibe of the trench coat perfectly, right? But my little sunset bag from Saint Laurent in green velvet paired with this. Are we kidding? Are we obsessed? I think we personally are obsessed, right? So just pairing another jewel tone, I think is such a good vibe. Obviously I'm wearing the normal ruby ring that I always wear. I'm also wearing like my little Cardi watch, right? That has a little sapphire on the little thingy right there, right? I'm wearing my Asdomera Moissanite rings as well, which I'm clearly obsessed with. And my huge tomato pearl earrings. The last ones mentioned, I do have discount codes for, so do check that out in the description box. But guys, those were all of my trench coat outfits that I am showing you today. Which outfit was your favorite? Please do let me know. I am so keen to hear from you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for spending this time and space with me. I will see you back here next Sunday, 3 p.m. Swedish time, CET. And until then, stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.